Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how SEO works for not linked pages on your Squarespace website. So in other words, we are going to be talking about, first of all, what are not linked pages? Where are they? How does Google work with them? Do they see it? Does it count for SEO? What do you need to know about it? All that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's video and with the blog post that goes along with it. So if this is something you've been like, hmm, I'm curious about it, or on the flip side, if you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I never even knew I should think about this, then this is the right place for you. So let's dive right on into it. So I'm going to share my screen here. And before we get started, I wanted to, oops, let me move everything around. I wanted to show you or remind you that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist. So I'm going to leave the link to this down below, but basically this Squarespace SEO checklist, it's a one page download that will make sure that you are off on the right track when it comes to Squarespace SEO. So whether you are just a beginner who's starting out, you have no idea. <laughs> how SEO works at all on a Squarespace website, or if perhaps you've like tried it out a little bit, but you want to make sure that you are, you know, not forgetting anything or as they say, like crossing the T's and dotting the I's, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is for you. And it has been downloaded by like thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So you're an excellent company with it. And again, the download link is right down below and you can thank me later once you have it. So let's take a look at what I mean by now let's move on and let's take a look at what I mean by um, not linked pages on your Squarespace website. So before we get started, I just want to show you or mention that at the time of recording this, I am showing you a look at the back end of my own Squarespace website. And I'm currently on Squarespace version 7.0 using the Raleigh template. So your website, the back end might look, might look a little bit different if you're on, um, you know, Squarespace 7.1, or if you're using a different template or something, but the general premise is the same. Okay. It just, some things might be different. Some things might be the same. It's not a huge deal. You can still follow along, but I wanted to point that out because it's worth saying sometimes people are like, Oh my God, mine looks a little different. And I'm like, it's fine. Relax. So when I'm talking about not linked pages, that basically means you can see here again, any pages that are down here in the not linked. So again, if we're getting to there, let's go back to the main dashboard. You would click on pages. Let's see. Come on. Pages. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> pages and then scroll down here to the not linked section. And basically what this means is that any page that you build in the not link section just isn't going to show up in the main navigation. And again, if you look at my website, for example, it might look like I only have like one, two, three, four pages in my main navigation, right? Because again, looking at the back end here in the primary navigation, there really are only those four pages, but I have lots more pages that I've created in the not linked section. And again, what this means in the not linked section, it means that it's, it just isn't showing up in the main navigation, but because we're here on a SEO spin, pages that are in the not linked section definitely can still show up in online search results. And in fact, I have a lot of pages that I have in the not linked section that I want to show up really high in online searches. And for example, that could be any of your services pages, if you have any specific services pages, um, if you have maybe you, you could have, have it structured maybe with like products, your online shop or something. Those are here. The products pages are all in the not linked section. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Just, there could be lots of pages that you want to rank in Google and you want to show up, but they're just not in the main navigation and that's totally fine. So essentially the way that this works is that you have to think about the fact that Google is going to be crawling and indexing your website and seeing all of the different pages that you have up and running. And they see that through the sitemap, which I have a video that talks about sitemaps and Google and Squarespace SEO. So click up here to watch that SEO or that sitemap video. But essentially what it means is that again, Google is going to see that you have these pages in the not linked section, but you probably still want them to show up in search results. There are ways that you might 
might want pages in the not link section to not show up in search results. And the most common ways that you would do that would be to disable the page. So if you wanted to disable the page, let's just use my um, Squarespace SEO audit and consulting session as an example. So you could disable the page by like opening the page settings and just toggling disable, like enable the page, turning that off. Okay. That's the first way. Another thing you could do would be you could number two is password protect the page. Because again, if it's if the page is password protected, obviously Google knows that you don't want that page to show up in an online search result. And then the, number three, the third most common way that you could, you know, make sure that that page doesn't show up in an online search is if you go over to like the SEO tab and then you toggle over here, this hide page from search results, right? That could be another thing that you're doing that Google's like, okay, I'll take a hint. We won't show that one. So those are the different ways that you could have a page in the not link section and decide that you don't want it to show up in an online search result. But otherwise, Google is still going to see the page in the sitemap. They're going to crawl and index it and therefore give it the SEO potential to actually show up in an online search result, which is often what you want. So that is how SEO works on the the pages in your website's not link section. So as you can see, again, it works pretty much the same way as a page that exists in your main navigation. It just means that people aren't accessing that page by clicking on a link in the main navigation, but you often still want them to show up there. You definitely still want eyes on those that content. You want traffic coming to those pages. They're just not in the main navigation, so it's fine. And again, if for some reason you don't want traffic to the pages in your not linked pages section, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. If you don't want traffic to them, again, you can do that by the three ways of, again, like, um, password protecting, disabling, or height toggling over so that it's hidden from search results. So that is everything that you need to know about pages in the not link section of your Squarespace website and how it affects SEO. So if you want to see more content all about Squarespace and SEO and online business and marketing, take a look at the other videos that I have here on my channel or take a look at my website, the blog, the resources. There's so much information for you there. So get, get ready to go down the rabbit hole. Oh my goodness. And if you liked this video, feel free to like, like it or leave me a comment down below and um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions like that, I'd love to hear from you. And oh yeah, and before you go, don't forget to grab a copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist. I'll leave a link to it down below. You can grab it and thank me later once you have it. All right, that's everything for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon in the next one. Bye.